The Battle of the Badges is used quite a bit as a catalyst, maybe a rallying cry to bring together first responders for a cause. In recent years, blood drives have topped the headlines. Tonight, it's in the ring. The 26th annual Battle of the Badges has taken over Building 1 at the Kern County Fairgrounds. Personnel with the Bakersfield Activities League was busy Thursday transforming the former home to the satellite wagering site for horse racing into a fight club for tonight's big showdown. There are 14 fights on the card scheduled to take place. All of them are three two-minute rounds. Now you think six minutes doesn't sound like much? Well, you've never traded leather. There are a couple of guys that um, that uh, have some skill in fighting and boxing it. So we try to match them up uh, evenly, um, but it should be uh, really fun to see the bouts. Some of them, some of the guys, uh, some of the people fighting don't have that much experience, but it's just fun. Uh, it's a good time to come out and see them uh, duke it out for a good cause. And the proceeds from this go to directly to the Bakersfield Police Activities League. And so it is one of our biggest uh, contributors of the year. And it's been unfortunate that we haven't been able to have it due to COVID. So. The Police Activities League provides healthy alternatives to at-risk youths in the community. Its officers, along with deputies, probation, corrections, the CHP, firefighters, and a couple of veterans will all be taking part. Now, there are some tickets still available. You have to buy them at the door or at the facility during the day. Not many of those $50 VIP ringside seats are still around. I, I don't know how many are left. There's $30 general admission tickets as well.